All right, guys, another live trade set up here. End of the day, coming into the weekend, 2-9. The end, look at the VIX. I had to jump into this, man. VIX has a 15-minute rip rally, and it's over a gold level that I got, 1284. Beautiful push, so we should get a little bit of a scalp reaction in the market back on the MNQs. Pick the top, got the roll. And our last trade member back here that we just filmed live was the 100 EMA back test, and then it could do whatever it wanted. Did another rip rally. We are time for another overextension. Power hour is rolling up here in 10 minutes. Get a little bit of selling into the weekend because who's going to hold this through the weekend at all time highs? Only crazies. So <laughs> we'll see where this one goes. Um, we got about six MNQ and uh, stop outs mm, negligible. I don't think we're going to uh, hit one high a day press maybe, but right now we should have a nice wash end of the day here. VIX is really lighting up. It's got room all the way up to 1310 deviation top. And when that happens, you want to stick to the plan of holding uh, through a lot of this stuff. The dollar has a really good curl off deviation as well. And I can bring up some of the other trading view charts here where we're leading into extensions here on some of the five minute top downs. We're getting very close to the top channel of anchor VWAP. So we can take a peek at that real quick. Let me grab that. So here on the queues on the five minute, you notice we've been stuck in the anchor VWAP channel, only moving inside and outside the uh, uh, two, three, right? So that extension where we placed it, you can see the center and then it's just jamming in between the do, 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 do one channel, right? The whole time. And uh, we're at all time highs. We don't have any uh, resistance to worry about, right? So we look at the volume profiles here and we have some tested volume area high back test. And then we're going to look at and Q, see how far the one minute is and five minute is away from uh, volume area high back test. We get are stacking up all of these catalysts. Look where the volume area high is. Look at the extension on that. That is bonkers. <laughs> so we're um, having a very crazy extension from volume area highs and price action way far away from POC. Hasn't seen the 100 EMA and that was our last trade there for a bit. Um, yeah, she's doing pretty good. So we have a lot of incantation here with that VIX rip to say, hey, uh, the VIX is at least giving us a little bit of a, a jam here, right? So we're up eh, 70 bucks just on a couple. I want to get at least you know, 100 something, we come back down to a 200 tag maybe in the next hour. So we'll kind of see what happens here. We've done some 10 SMA loops, we've done full resets, we've got RSI uh, cutting some uh, red down there as you can see. Jam that up a little bit here. There we go, so we can see it. So we got the lower high divergence and cross on the Mac now adding cell wave. So we are in good standing all metrics from the NQ to the anchor view app to the volume areas to do the same trade we just did a little bit ago for the algos to repeat themselves. And that is the loop, right? I hate this platform so much. I can't get this dang thing to ever regulate. Let's go back down here to see this. There we go, much easier on TS. So we have downside room to the 50 RSI. Uh, downside room just starting on the Mac here, getting a taller sell wave than the back end, uh, which is beautiful. Then we got some very high pressure uh, extensions here. 50127 was pretty much the top of the day for my algorithms. Then I got the final price of the frickin' spy at 502 and a penny. And this is my last extension for uh, 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 Fibonacci. So we'll have to see that one. VIX is taking a little bit of a tumble on the hot side there. And market is coming into support. So let's uh, keep an eye on this for a sec. We got the lower high setup where it could drain pretty clean here. We got a 50 RSI. We got all the diversions. It's the same exact trade I posted um, earlier. It's a 10 SMA loop. So when you see a 10 SMA, um, we'll do it on this chart here because it's already on there. 10 SMA on the minute chart. And as we, let's stretch it out this way. So we talked about it again. We, we don't get double loops and it's just a regular algo program that runs. So it goes under the 10 SMA. That's not a loop. Holds the 50, holds the 50, presses up to new highs. Does a loop one right here, fake one. The secondary loop is the one that you're going to want to look for that fail and back test uh, supports, right? So let's keep an eye on this one and see if we can't dig out a little trade here. And um, again, stop outs, you know, maintain maintenance over highs. We are we got a big cushion for the day still. So last time we were in here, we got 600 bucks uh, times six, but now we got a really big cushion just messing with some admin cues uh, on this beautiful trade setup. So dollar is still rip rolling. Uh, that'll help us out hopefully a little bit. And as long as this 10 SMA doesn't scam loop and keep pressing for uh, zero reason, we'll get this one uh, pretty easy here in a sec. So let's get this lower high into the 10 and hopefully this pop loop right here, that algo 
is already played out. It's done this whole system already, hit the 100 EMA, 50, done a whole run on the 50. So this is the time where it fails the 10 and it comes back to the next slowest moving average. So um, it is an algo force up at all time highs. That is a very big manipulation play. So if that doesn't play out regular, uh, no hard feelings here on the market at all. It definitely, definitely doesn't like to um, play, play fair at all time highs. So with that VIX hot though, she actually moved up with the VIX and kind of curl in, or I'm sorry, kind of creep in into that power hour. That's where that subject can change. You gotta think of the psychology of a lot of people going, hey man, we just had a massive week, all time high FOMO moving. Are you gonna hold through the weekend? Huh? I don't know, man. Probably take some profits. You'll wait till the last second of the day if you rode this beautiful algo all the way up. We have no back test still of, of, of uh, uh, Moving averages back here. We have a no tag 200. So one thing you see here, right here, zero tag. So it broke over, shied it, right? And we always get in and out ahead of time. Like we explained in the last video, you don't ever want to wait for a pure tag. I got out right here because it shied it. I said, it'll probably hit the 100 EMA, but I'm not interested. I'm only interested in the short that we had got. We grabbed a couple hundred bucks and then boom, and then boom, it hit the 100 EMA. That was the la last live trade I posted uh, for the scalps. And uh, I'll put a link to that in the description if you want. We come back here. Okay, we're getting some red here. And I'm confident I don't have to watch this trade. This is a very easy uh, algo trade setup. And, you know, I hate saying easy and guaranteed and all those fancy words. But, man, it's it's hot. It's, it's very nice. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's get yesterday's top down off there. There we go. Yeah, so let's uh, let her scoot for a minute here. Get her measured back up. There we go. And, again, I, I usually, you know, I take only reputable trades we have zero red trades again um you know for the roll here we got all green across the board which is nice feeling blessed on that one that's for sure but we are calculative and we are navigating and we are controlling our risk heavily and we are predicting this stuff whenever you know before it happens and that's the best we can do ah, excuse my sips there the coffee oh or i'm sorry mushroom coffee it's not even real coffee um, but we got Fed Logan up here too, uh, coming up supply chains of normalized, paying attention, potential risks, including geopolitical ones. So he's saying some little, eh, little, little jabs there. Inflation to be sustained near target, labor market loosening, but still robust. Um, the China slowing growth is key issue. So I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, we're trying to just couple a hundo out of her, um, get back up close to like 700 for the day here. We'll close out some of the six here, uh, on a little bit of a crack, always locking in profit. There's our hundred bucks. Order filled. So we just locked in some. We went from six to five contracts there. I think my volume's jacked up here. I didn't hear anything, but it's working. So again, got our first little fill there. And what I usually like to do is get that $100 target, and I start getting out of a couple positions there, put another bit. Order of filled. Fill from six contracts down to four. And this is time six. And we always take profit on scalps as they can, you know, they can do whatever they want. Stock market does not your friend. It can do whatever it wants, whenever it wants. Let's check some five-minute action here. Oh, yeah, we're really up there. That's craziness. Dollar really pushing here for us. Got about a $200, 220 open PL still. Just letting her work. Always maintaining, always taking profits, always controlled. So slow and steady, just trying to get the scalp Ola here. And if this does speed up end of day and finally come back down to the test of the 200 SMA we've been talking about here, that would be best case scenario. I don't expect that. Again, this is a scalp trade. I only scalp trade a lot of stuff here, especially playing counter trend. If you're playing counter trend, you got to be more careful. You're in and out faster. You're protecting your profits uh, and protecting these trades, especially on counter trend trading. Trading with the trend, I'm a little bit more lax. I'll go a little heavier. I'll play different things depending on who has the best setup. But right now, NQ, in my opinion, has one of the best setups because of this volume area extension. And you can see it when it squeezed the volume area high. This was my final target for the day, 18035. And it hit. Have the scalp pullback, hit, scalp pullback, and then you can see these wicks turn on. The scam L goes. Look at these beautiful little wicks here on the minute chart. And it just held that. And I was like, no, we're not we're gonna stay here, buddy. We're not going anywhere. 
Um, so we're going to let these runners go a little bit here. We have the perfect top pick here, perfect oscillation. If we can get a RSI change up here, like a sequence where we see the RSI is on the top 50% of the channel, notice on those bigger dips, over here on the arrow, we get to the bottom side. We got room on the Mac to the downside. So again, no reason to close anything. We're on perfect trend on indicator here. Uh, VIX isn't working for us and the dollar's in a little resistance. So the market's gonna move a little independent here, I think, but the VIX should come down to the 50. Okay, we'll go to the five minute. This is the 50 RSI, same thesis that we just talked about here on uh, the Qs. It has room down, right? So the 50, hopefully we'll catch a bid here on the VIX, on the 50 RSI and the five. That would uh, help us further our little green scalp Ole here. Giving her back to the lives. So yeah, we're not doing too bad. We had like 214. Got about 100 out of her now. Got 100 and 115, 120 bucks out of the scalp so far times six. So we made 600 bucks so far on the scalp. Working out very well. Ah, and again, if we get some speed here, I want to see the RSI channel on Thinkorswim. Not so much Trade Trade.Bay. For some reason, they just... This one, I don't know. Not too fond of. But if I bring it up here, um, that's MNQ. It's not going to matter that much. But you can see a little bit of a difference there in that RSI. The NQ, I always follow Thinkorswim. So I'd... Uh, this is what we use for always charting, and we always trade off the queues. Let's take a peek at ES. There was a decent trade there on ES. We obviously dropped, uh, jumped back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to these over and over and over again. Uh, we had a really good extension on ES um, and NQs. So all the bias of the trades is we are outside of the plus two deviation VWAP, very obvious uh, RSI overheat. Uh, sellers coming in, you can see the control here. On the one minute chart, high seller, high seller, high seller, low buyer, low buyer, low buyer. So the consolidation on lower highs that the indicators are giving us, we need to swap into the downside. This is just what we talked about here. There's the panic. We needed to get in the bottom and we have some room. So let's get ready to close out on the scalp. And we're up 150 something. Close out some more. Order filled. Order filled. Close out. Order some filled. More. Order filled. So from the six contract scalp, we are now maintaining two and we're seeing our downside. And we are up just about 175 across the board, just on the MNQ scalps. See if we can't get a little bit more. And we are getting kind of cooked here on the RSI. We're coming down. We're very close to being overcooled. We should get one more static candle down. Uh, the VIX just created a gap actually down. So this is really good. The Elgos love these. So the VIX started to gap up. So the VIX has to pop and fill this gap uh, right here. And this is the third gap at this level. It's insane. Look at this pre-market gap number one. First live trading, gap number two. And again, just now, gap number three at the same level between 1284, 1285. Gaps are my favorite and foremost best strategy ever. So we got the 100 EMA. That's pretty much the ender for me. I can have one rider here. Let's see if we get a fill for the last two. If not, we're pretty much out because it's an identical trade for me. Order filled. There we go. So we locked in a buck 89 across the board. We love those. So another live trade example. This will probably go lower, probably chase down the two. But again, I'm a profit guy. We are down into taking profit. Where was our, our profit? 100 EMA. And of course, the indicator resets, which are my um, main goal for these. So the indicator resets here. All right. All right. So we have a lot of room on the Mac, but the indicator is coming to cool. So we had the break. We had to get through the 50 and now we're coming into the cool. Could it go a little bit further? Could it? Sure. doesn't matter to me. Um, but we got our scalp and that is the way you control the scalp. And again, we're trading six accounts and do 189 times six. We just made $1,134 in a matter of minutes. And again, we're going to probably chase down the next fastest moving average because we don't have the back test of the 200 SMA. So that is your target on the flush in power hour, even if it holds up around here. And then our top of the day, um, backtrack 1835, once we were extended. So again, we're in the plus two VWAP range on both of these suckers. So ES and NQ, as we bounce back and forth, always trading the best setup. Both had good setups, but if you notice, the ES was closer to volume area high. NQ was not, NQ was farther away, okay? So burn that image into your head, much closer. So NQ had further to fall. And we all know NQ does its thing and moves much faster. And now you're gonna see the VIX pop um, close to support of the 50. It's gonna get most likely a new five minute candle. That's a lot of the time that it does. And it'll come back up to fill again this 1285 before we close. So all of the dumping here is gonna continue because the VIX has upside because of the gap. So one minute gaps and algorithms are my specialty. That is the number one out of the top five systems that I trade daily. And it is, man, my favorite. So you can see that beautiful short coming in. 
right now. So let's get to the full day trade recap. That'll be it for the live trades again. Hopefully two of them. Hopefully these guys make sense to you guys. Uh, we did 789 bucks today and you times that by six. That's 4,734. Happy weekend, my friends. Trade safe out there. And uh, if you are watching this, make sure to watch those moving averages play out like this. Like I said, 200 SMA is going to be extension target. Could have left the runner, but I am extremely happy with our green progress and the trade that we had called here again. 100% accuracy. See you on the next.